Hey, welcome back all you backyard grillers. So football season is already here upon us and what better food to whip up than a simple batch of smoked buffalo wings, guys. Guys, I've made a video of buffalo wings before and I'm gonna make three different versions today. Again, very, very simple. The regular buffalo, the traditional, I found this fly, uh, flying saucy mango habanero at HEB and I'm gonna do a lemon pepper, guys. I am going to season the buffalo, the buffalo versions with this uh, sweet and smoky by uh, Grillmates. It's a good seasoning, we really like it. And the lemon pepper is gonna fly solo today, guys. What I have here is 10 pounds of uh, buffalo wings, as you can see. I didn't cut them. Uh, I've been cooking them, I've been cooking wings a lot and uh, we kind of like them this way. They're a lot easier to eat, easier to cook and uh, just very simple guys. So I'm gonna, sim I'm gonna season a few of them on camera. I don't wanna bore you with uh, seasoning the whole batch of wings, but it's very simple guys. All right, just give them a quick toss. Before I put them in the pan, guys, I give them a quick rinse. All righty. Gotta get both sides, right? All right, you get the idea. I'm gonna uh, season the rest of the wings off camera and then I'll meet you out in the backyard All right guys, here you have them lemon pepper super easy. Here you go And the sweet and smoky very very simple guys No uh, wet brine just uh, I'm just gonna let them sit for about 10 minutes Let it absorb that uh, seasoning both of them and then we're gonna pop them in the smoker guys Wait till you see the smoker we're using today guys. You're gonna like it Today we're cooking on the master build 560 gravity feed smoker. So far so good. It's an awesome machine in my opinion. Uh, more to come on that. So we're rolling today with BNB lump charcoal, uh, uh, oak charcoal. I really love that stuff. It burns very, very hot, very, very clean. And we're using some uh, b, &B uh, cherry smoking chunks. Okay, what I did is uh, master build says you can add some chunks. Uh, in the hopper, which I did. I just added a couple of chunks and then I'm gonna open this up real quick guys, just so you can see. Then just to give it a, a try, probably does work, but I put some chunks in the ash bin, in the ash catcher, and close it up for extra smoke. So I have the smoker set at 250 degrees. That's not gonna be how we're gonna finish them up. We're just gonna get some nice cherry smoke on them and then we're gonna crisp them up. I'll show you what we do next when we get there, okay? So let me start putting these bad boys inside of the smoker. I'm gonna try to put them, as many as I can, on the middle rack. All right guys, so I was right, they, they didn't all fit, but that's okay. We have enough capacity in this 560. So let's shut the lid and uh, we'll check it in about 45 minutes. 250 degrees is not really gonna hurt them, guys. We'll be back. So the timer in my app, my Masterville app went off. You can hear it beeping. Let's quiet this thing down. Coming along at 250 degrees, 250, 252. I can live with that, guys. A few degrees off, it's not gonna kill anything. All right, guys, let's check it out. Look at that. Man, that cherry wood smells amazing, huh? Yeah, it really does. Let's see, did it burn anything? Uh-uh. I told you guys, 250 degrees is not gonna burn anything. Not in 45 minutes anyway. Just give them a little flip for room. Look at that, nice. Yeah. are further so they're not getting that little char so that makes sense the firebox is over the firebox is over here on this side it's gonna be hotter so that's good 
now we know every grill has its hot spots. I don't care what grill it is. Oh, I think. I may be wrong. Okay guys, so we flipped all the wings. They are looking very, very nice. They smell amazing. I'm going to shut the lid. The grill is gonna kick in again. Let's set a timer, Pop. Just how easy you can set a timer for this thing. Right there, it's already set at 45 minutes. It remembers, so just hit the timer again. It starts counting down. If you long press the timer, it'll go, it'll count up. You know, it'll go vice versa. I don't mind the counting down. So we'll be back in, well now, 44 minutes, guys. Check this out, guys. I have two minutes left on the timer, and this thing stays very steady, man. It stays within, you know, two to three degree increments. It's humming along at 250. I've seen it go to 251, 252, 249. It's very steady, man. Very, very impressive. Let's check out the uh, wood chunks that I tossed inside of the ash catcher. Check it out, burning nice and slow. Oh, by the way, guys, anytime you see this right here, that's a sensor. Anytime that you open the door, it's gonna shut it off for safety reasons. For safety reasons. If you press it, it's in, you can barely hear it. Open the door, shuts off. Pretty neat. I don't like this gate. So you can hear that timer going crazy. Let's turn it off. Okay, let's recap a little bit, guys. So it's 45 minutes on one side at 250 degrees. I flipped them over and another 45 minutes at 250 degrees and Check this out, guys. They look awesome. We're gonna take them to another level right now. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next. That cherry wood smells amazing. That oak uh, hardwood lump smells amazing. Let me get my bottle of butter and we'll show you what we do. Okay guys, every time I smoke wings, I always use this fake butter. Can't believe it's not butter, huh? And I give them a good, good spray. What for, you ask? This is gonna help uh, get them extra crispy and it gives it that nice golden color. Let me get the rest of them, guys. I'm gonna flip them over. I'm gonna uh, spray them on both sides, and then we'll be right back. All right, so I uh, sprayed both sides of the wings with the spray butter. At this point, I'm gonna shut the lid. I'm going to crank it to 300 degrees. Oops, 300 degrees. And I'm gonna set a timer for, oops. I have to zero it out. There you go. Press it again so you can go to the minutes. And I'm gonna check that boys in 20 minutes. And we will be back guys. Okay guys, so 20 minutes at 300 degrees. Check it out guys. These bad boys are done just by looking at them I can tell, but you can use an instant read thermometer like I have right here. You don't have to buy an expensive one. I have a char charbro brand, I think I paid 20 bucks for it. But how do you know when they're ready? You know, if you don't have the experience, you can take a wing, you know, darkly you can take it from 165. I've taken them to 200, 205 and they don't dry out, they're just 
really, really good. This one's at 166. Make sure you don't hit the bone. And uh, just check a few. Can you hear them? They'll go off if they're ready. This one has a little bit yet to go. What does it say? 207. 207. It's good, man. These bad, we're gonna pull them off, we're gonna sauce them, and then we'll bring them back to the smoker. Okay guys, at this point, we're gonna start pulling some wings. Look at that beautiful cutter, man. They smell fantastic. We're gonna separate them in these foil pans, and we're going to apply the, uh, the sauce. We're gonna sauce them real quick and see how simple it is. It really, ah, it smells so good. It really take no time at all. So I think I'm going to do more of the buffalo sauce. Okay. Grab your buffalo. I'm a righty, but I'm going to do a lefty. And just pour it on top. And this is a mild version of Frank's. I think that's the, the, the best one if you're sensitive to heat. It's not that hot. Okay, and grab them, pop them back in the smoker. Get that one. All right. Let's get another tray. Let's sauce them up. Look at that. You can, you can uh, add as much as you like, or as little as you like, or you can just use it as a dipping sauce. It really doesn't matter. Look nice and coated. Pop it back in the smoker. Let's pull the lemon pepper. Good. All right, so the lemon pepper, guys, all I do, since we're not gonna sauce these, these guys up, I just add more butter. Okay, and then we hit them again with the lamb and pepper. Okay, let's pop in the smoker. Let that butter melt. The smoker is still at 300 degrees. Look at the cassie on that thing, man. Take a picture of that. Not to mention, I set a timer for 10 minutes. That's just to let the, the sauce set. I left it at 300 degrees. You don't need to go lower, you don't need to go higher, guys. Just 10 minutes and uh, we'll show you what they look like. So the timer went off, 10 minutes exactly. And look at that, guys. That sauce is set, they're ready to pull. So we're gonna pull them off the pit, we're gonna take them inside and uh, we'll show you what they look like. Let's taste them. All right guys, so there you have it. Three different versions of smoked buffalo wings. Guys, how easy was that? The prep time was 10 minutes, that's it. You just rinse them, season them with your favorite seasoning, and you're done. Then, you smoke them at 250 degrees per side, and then after that, you get the skin nice and crispy. You crank up the smoker to 300 degrees for 20 minutes. Then after that, you pull them, you put them in these pans, you sauce them, and you're done. 10 minutes, that's all it takes for the sauce to set. These things are piping hot. I'm not even gonna try to taste them right now. I know it'll burn my mouth, but look at that, guys. How easy is that for a Sunday football game? Guys, I hope you appreciate the simplicity of this recipe, guys. This recipe, anybody can make. You don't need a master build. You can do it on a stick burner. You can do it on a pellet grill. I cook them on a pellet grill all the time. You can even do them in the oven, guys. My goal today was to show you how simple it is. And uh, anybody can do it, okay? Guys, if you like what we're doing, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.